for this video, I'm going to do four, five, and six on practice number one for lesson two of unit eight. When I solve the square root equation, I want to isolate the square root. Here that means I have to add the five to both sides to start. So I'm going to add five, and I'll have one half square root of x equals seven. Now, one half square root of x, I can eliminate the denominator of two by multiplying both sides by two. I will have 1 square root of x equals 14, but I don't really need to worry about that 1 out in front. It doesn't change anything. So I can kind of erase it and ignore it. Since I isolated the square root, I can square both sides and get x equals, if you're not sure what the square root of 14 is, type it in, or the square root of 14, 196. Excuse me. Now I need to check to see if that's an answer. So I'm going to type this into this. Right now, 196 is a really big number. I could graph this. I'm just going to type square root of, or 196 in graph. So I'm going to start with 1 over 2, 1 half. Then I have the square root of x. And then it was minus 5. And minus 5, I get equal to 2, which is what my answer was. So I know that 196 is the solution. Number 5. Same idea as the last one. I need to isolate the square root here. To do that, I'm going to add 3 to both sides to start. I get 5. Square root of 1 minus 5x equals 30. I'm still not isolated, so I'm going to divide by 5. Alright, equals 6. Now I'm isolated, so I can square both sides of the equation. Get 1 minus 5x equals 36. And go ahead and keep solving. Subtract 1. Negative 5x equals 35. And then divide by negative 5. Here that will give me x equals negative 7. So let's check our work. Two ways to do it. Um, I'm going to graph this one this time. Actually, no. I think I'll, oh, maybe I will. 5 times the square root of 1 minus 5x, let's see, 5 times the square root of 1 minus 5x, and then minus 3. And I want to see where that is equal to the y value of 27. I have my graph here, I click where the intersect, and it looks like the x value of negative 7. So I know that's the solution. Now, I could have just typed negative 7 into the original equation if I wanted. Instead of x here, I could have typed in parentheses negative 7 and saw that the answer was 27 and gotten my answer that way. I'm just trying to show you alternate ways to check your work. Number 6. Isolate the square root. It is isolated, so I'm going to square both sides. x squared minus 10x plus 25 equals 25. This is like the last problem on our note. Because what I'm going to do is subtract 25 from both sides, and those both go away. So I get x squared minus 10x equals 0. Both of those have an x, so I'm going to divide out an x, GCF, and get x times x minus 10. Now my solution here, the first x gives me a 0. x equals 0 is the solution. And the next one gives me 10. So I want to check, where is the solution here? So I'm going to graph square root of x squared minus 10x plus 25. And then I'm going to graph y equals 5. Looks like it crosses twice at 0 and 10, which were both of my solutions. So I know I'm going to go. So they're both solutions there. No extraneous on that. If you have questions on one, two, or three, or, or these three, go ahead and ask your teacher for help or check the key on campus.